Guess what? Hey. I made a friend today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Luis, and he flew up from Florida to hang out with me for the day. Okay, put that right back there. Hey, everybody. Hey, show him your new shirt. Oh. It's like, he got a Winnie Buzz Houses shirt. Yay. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Okay. So we are here and we're talking about real estate. We've been talking about real estate since when? Seven o'clock this morning? Seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> yeah. I picked him up at the hotel from the airport this morning at seven and it's been pretty much real estate nonstop, huh? Yes. All day. All day. <laughs> it was fun. It's fun. Oh, thanks. Hold on just a second. That's not very cute of her. So anyway, um, Real estate all day. We have been downtown Knoxville and saw the city county building and explained what, you would do, what we do there. We drove through a neighborhood and found, how many empty houses did we find before we even got started? We found quite a few. Handful. And then on that one street, we found a quadplex, a triplex, and one with five units in one house. We found some apartments. Um, and then we, we were able to sit in the street and you can't... The reason I like to get started so early is because you can do things early in the morning that mm -hmm. you can't do throughout the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. So we could sit in the street and look at the left side and see pretty houses and look at the right side and it was just this ugly, nasty house. And I'll try to drive you down that street again so that you can get the full circle on okay. the way back. Okay. So you can just find one street. We found one house that was for sale by owner. Mm -hmm. And then we found a bunch of other houses around it that were empty. We pulled comps on them, mm -hmm. all free, all stuff that you don't need with a real estate license. And we didn't end up calling them, though, did we? We'll, we'll try to call them. But then we went and saw the apartments that I did the wholesale on mm -hmm. earlier this month. Mm -hmm. We had lunch with Brandon, who's a wholesaler. He's from Maryland. He's flipped in Pennsylvania. Now he's in Tennessee, flipping houses, flipping apartments, just making some money. Talk to him. What'd you learn from him? Oh man, he had so much insider tips to, to to talk to me about. It was it was great. It was awesome. He talked to me just about uh, starting off as a wholesaler and and tips on how to move forward and, and things like that. So it was, absolutely. It was really cool. So uh, we're in Tennessee right now, okay? Luis flew up from Florida to spend the day with me in Tennessee. And y'all can do this too if you want to. Yeah. Okay, so we had lunch with Brandon. We went and looked at the apartments, and they look pretty rough, don't they? They did. They did. They look real rough, yeah. But I must say. when I told you the deal with them, we made $3,000. Could have made seven. This one was crazy. We went through all sorts of stuff. But the end result on it was two, two words. You remember? Mm, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No matter how bad it is, you just keep going, okay? You'll figure it out. It'll all kind of flush itself out in the meantime. Uh, then we went and looked at a house that I've got for rent. And how many people called for that house out on Millertown today? Oh, wow. Like three or five people called for that house. In an hour. Yeah. While we were looking at the house, three yeah. or four or five people called for that one house, okay? So there's a lot of buyers. Yeah. You worried about a buyer's list? Um, No. You've got no. so many buyers. We had one seller call mm -hmm. all day, mm -hmm. and then all day we had buyers, 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 buyers for different properties, but only one seller. So for as many sellers as you can get, you got 10 buyers, and your phone's just going to ring, ring, ring from buyers. Okay, so when we were at the house and we were working, we worked on how to find off-market properties, right? Mm -hmm. Did we ever look at the MLS? No, we didn't. Because you don't need the MLS. Yeah. We don't want to pay the realtors. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a realtor. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. So we talked about, oh gosh, we did Craigslist, we did Zillow, we did probate court, we did probate GIS. Court, yeah, GIS. Um, we did if this, then that. Mm -hmm. did that too. We did driving for dollars. Driving for dollars. What else? Oh man, what else did we do? Facebook. We talked about yeah, Facebook oh, and advertising on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. So we did seven different ways to find off-market properties today. Mm -hmm. And I've set you up with the Slack program so mm -hmm. that you can go back and watch all those webinars. Yep. We went over the seller lead sheet. We didn't really do the buyer lead sheet today, but we got plenty of buyers calling. We mm -hmm. need more sellers. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about how to figure repairs. Mm -hmm. And so when you go in to a house or you go into those apartments, 
We're going to figure plumbing and electrical, and then we'll talk about how much the bathrooms are going to cost, how much the kitchen's going to cost, and then $5,000 for paint. <laughs> I always just figure five thousand for paint, okay. Mm -hmm. And if the paint throws it off budget, off course, then the deal's not worth it because you got to paint it. Yeah. All those properties that Millertown Pike, mm -hmm. it looked fine, but it still needed paint. Mm -hmm. It looks so much better with a fresh coat of paint. All right, and then we drove around what four or five different neighborhoods. We found another. We were all over the place. We, we really just did one big circle. <laughs> you felt like we were all over the place. Oh, yeah, because we I went hung one big circle. Here. Yeah. But we found another, what, maybe 10 properties that we could send a letter to? That's right, yeah. Yeah. We've been busy. Interesting, yeah. All day. What's the one thing you've learned from me today? Well, man, I, I, I can tell you that I'm just not having uh, experience in this. I'm truly overwhelmed with all the information <laughs> <laughs> that I got today. Today was it was so cool to, to learn all this stuff. Yeah. It's cool to see it. Yeah, to see it. Put your hands on it, yeah. to feel it yeah. a little bit better. See you doing it in <laughs> action. <laughs> he got on the phone, he's called a couple sellers. Uh, let him talk to we talked to that lady in Florida this morning. You talked to her? Um oh yeah. And then we called right, and left right. a message on this guy right here. That's right, that's right. So yeah. we talked to sellers, we talked to buyers, we looked at properties. We went through all sorts of internet stuff. We went through your contract again. That's right, yeah. We did a lot today. We did a lot, yeah. <laughs> it's been action-packed, okay? Yeah. And I don't think we've slowed down or talked about football or the weather yet. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot. I can literally talk about real estate for 10 <laughs> hours straight. <laughs> um, okay, how do you build your buyers list? How are you going to find buyers? Well, go to doing a Craigslist. Yep. Craigslist will do it. Craigslist. I don't care where you are. Yeah, All you need is Craigslist and it's free and there's your buyers list. Boom. Done. Yeah. Um, what about the other side? Um, if this, if this, then, if that, this then that can help you find buyers. Mm -hmm. Zillow will help you find buyers. If you get a deal, what did Brandon say? If you get the deal, mm -hmm. put it under contract. Put it under contract. Put it under contract. And then the buyers, they'll start coming, mm -hmm. right? If you've got a real deal and you know how to figure it, mm -hmm. the buyers just start flooding in. I don't, I don't even keep up with the buyers list. I like sellers lists because <laughs> yeah. yeah. there's plenty of buyers out there. Plenty of cash buyers, plenty of hurting buyers, plenty of in the middle buyers. You don't need a buyers list. Okay. All right. Well, we've got one more house to go by on the way to the airport and then I'm taking you back so you can go back to Florida. Okay. Any other questions, comments, complaints, mm. thoughts about the day? Um, no, I just it's been a great day. It's, you know, I, I made a choice to spend a day with, with Whitney and it was a blast. Was all, all this information, um, I just got to put into practice now. Um, learning a little bit of everything and how to get started with no experience. So, <laughs> but you can do it. I started with no experience yeah. and now I do all sorts of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. I had one other question. Oh, okay. So now we're pretty much at the end of the day. If you were back home and you were packing to come spend the day with me, would you do anything different, bring anything different, do um, anything so that when somebody comes to spend a day with me, should they bring anything or have anything? Oh, I would, I would make sure that uh, you just have your notebook and pen with you or uh, your phone to kind of record what she's saying. Because um, it's a lot, it's valuable information. I'm talking about from seven in the morning on the dot. <laughs> <laughs> on the dot. Uh, the only time uh, we're not talking about real estate is when we're eating. That's it. <laughs> you know? And even then, and we even talked then about real estate. We out. even we interviewed the kids this morning on what they're wanting to buy. Exactly. Yeah, that was great. That was cool. And then I scheduled lunch with another investor because. I like for you to hear my perspective, but Brandon had some good insights too. Uh, he did, too. yeah, he did. And Definitely. Jason had some good insights. Mm -hmm. uh, we had breakfast with Jason so that he could talk about commercial real estate for a while. Yeah, Jason was wonderful, yeah. So, yeah, bring a pen and paper, get a good night's sleep because we're starting yeah. and we're going yeah, nonstop. That's right. that's right. Good. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. And if you have any questions, you can email me, info at WhitneyNicely.com. Um, you can sign up to spend the day with me. I think it's on allaboutrei.com. There's a little bracket about coaching. It's a Friday fun day. And I look forward to spending the day with you. So come on to Tennessee. Bye, y'all. This is the part I